Let's talk about cohabitant abuse protective orders. There are many defects in the way cohabitant abuse protective order matters are decided, one of which is the standard of proof applied, or rather, not applied. In Utah, as in many other states, the codified standard of evidence to obtain a protective order is the preponderance of the evidence standard, often described colloquially as more likely than not. In actual practice, however, the preponderance of evidence is far too often honored more in the breach than in the observance. I am certain that I do not overstate the matter when I say that anyone who has watched or participated in a fair sampling of protective order hearings in this jurisdiction and elsewhere knows that far too often an abundance of caution or better safe than sorry standard is applied in lieu of the preponderance of the evidence standard in protective order cases. Abundance of caution, or better safe than sorry, is essentially the substantial evidence standard of proof, which I will define at the end of this video. Why is that? Could it be that if substantial evidence, which is barely any evidence at all, if that were the codified standard of proof for obtaining a protective order, then granting protective orders would have little, if any, legitimacy, perhaps? That virtually anyone who made merely the requisite allegations for a protective order would get one under a substantial evidence standard of proof? Almost surely. Thus, by codifying the standard of proof as the preponderance of evidence, a protective order seems justly and justifiably imposed and thus less prone to criticism or appeal. Substantial evidence is, at best, and by definition, barely a standard of proof. From NOLO.com we get this definition. This standard falls between probable cause and preponderance of the evidence and requires more than a mere scintilla of evidence. Substantial evidence is such relevant evidence as, might reason, as a reasonable mind might accept as adequate to support a conclusion. That's from Richardson v. Perales, 402 U.S. 389, 1971. And from Black's Law Dictionary, 11th edition, quote, evidence that a reasonable mind could accept as adequate to support a conclusion evidence beyond a scintilla, close quote, is substantial evidence.